Strap in tight because the content of our next guest may cause some serious emotional damage. I will send you to Jesus. Emotional damage. I will send you Not the Chinese chunkla. Not the Chinese chunkla. With more than 50. 15 million subscribers across social media. Stephen, he is best known for his hilarious breakout character, Asian Dad, and his po parody sketches around Asian parents. Oh, uh, but wait, there's more. Okay, Stephen has crossed over into sci fi comedy with his latest series, Ginormo. Ginormo, a show about a team of heroes battling monsters, monsters, and more monsters. And take over the planet. Eat it. Why don't I just bring this over there? Uh, joining us this morning, his new project is actor, TikTok sensation, Billy. YouTube creator, and just all around cool guy, Stephen Heath. Welcome, Stephen Heath. Welcome to New York Living. Well, officially so one much. of the coolest people and most interesting people we've ever had on this show. Okay, it's a great honor because I came to, to New York about five years ago, and this is like the moment that I feel like I'm, I'm a New Yorker now. Can I? You've call made it when that? you've sat on the white. <laughs> you have room so on your uh, resume to add <laughs> New Yorker. Proper New Yorker yeah. now. <laughs> okay. We were getting into his. Backstory. If only the cameras were rolling at this point. Okay, uh, you are. What is your background? I am Chinese Irish. Chinese Irish. I, do you hear the brogue? No. You have a little bit of a brogue. I do have a little bit of a brogue. I learned to speak English in Ireland, so I, you know I grew up with it. And then I started as an actor when I was 13 years old, uh, aspiring actor, which means I was unemployed and acted for, <laughs> for fun. Uh, <laughs> aspiring. Um, uh, so okay, so hold on, because I, th I have so many questions. Okay. You're in China, and your mother um, wants to travel the world. Yes, she and wanted what ha to. And what happens next? She wanted to, to go somewhere else, and she loved Europe. And uh, at the time, she only had one family member, an uncle who was in Ireland. Who uh, was doing what? What was your uncle doing in Ireland? He had a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> So you go find this this uncle, and yes. did you work in his in his uh, restaurant? I I worked in another Chinese restaurant <laughs> when I was 17 years old. What? Oh my gosh. It was also in Limerick, and we were, we were probably the only Chinese family in Limerick at the time, but one of very few anyway. Wow. <laughs> okay. So he comes. Obviously, it's not a checkered past, but is, it is a very illustrious one. It's a unique one. Yes, I'm I'm a rare limited edition, <laughs> one of one. <laughs> one of one, as the one and only Beyonce says. That's right. That's uh, okay. So you parody Asian parents yes. and failure management. Yes. Can you talk to us a little bit about what that means? Oh, I, Obvi I, I feel yeah. like I'm starting to understand where yes. you're getting the yeah. uh, inspiration <laughs> for your content from in your world travels. Yes, so I, I make a lot of content. I started acting when I was 13 and I've been like Comedy Central, uh, a couple of films and then the pandemic hit and I started making my own videos. And comedy skits was always the thing that I, I mm -hmm. just was so passionate about. Mm -hmm. So I made hundreds of skits and around skit number 220, uh, I came up with the idea of parodying like stories growing up in China. Sure. And that's how the character came about. And then uh, I think we, we went to like 2 million subscribers then. And uh, at about 2 million, emotional damage happened. And then it just became this, this global thing. It's like uh, being on money. It's like yeah. A, yeah. <laughs> it's like and for the, for the uninitiated, what is emotional damage exactly? <clears throat> It's a meme. I made a skit <laughs> where I screamed emotional damage at the camera and people said, that three seconds is now going to be sent to everybody. So that's what it has oh, become. there it is. We actually and have a clip yeah. of the video that really kicked things off for you. Yeah. Yes. Let's take a, let's take a listen. You're looking at Harvard University. Do better, huh? NASA job applicant. How are you going to get girlfriend? You're up in space pooping in vacuum. What is this failure? Oh, it's this YouTube channel. Look, my TikTok get more followers than you, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, What? What uh, yeah, does that's, that's your family think of this? What is your? <laughs> because I mean, listen, <laughs> we may I make fun of my Puerto Rican tribe all the time. We talk about the chunklas <laughs> and that and the yeah, you know, I I'm, I'll only be successful when I'm a doctor or a lawyer, but. <laughs> Yeah. Right, I think this comes with we a lot come of... A similar, it's amazing how many people relate to yeah. it. Like, I love, um, like, you know, satirizing how in our culture nothing's ever good enough. You uh -huh. know? Mom, I won an Oscar. Why did then you win two? <laughs> <laughs> I 
can't with the way he switches in and out so quickly. And it's um, spot on. And amazingly, so many cultures related to that. Yes. Like people from all over the world, mm -hmm. and even those I don't expect, like British kids were saying, dude, my dad is just like that. Right. And so I was, I was very honored by that. Yeah. Too. To yeah. be able to make these kids. Uh, oh I could watch this all day. I, this is what I'm going to be this doing when I get in bed at night. I'm going to go on the channel and just go into the black hole. And then <laughs> just it's like, do it. Do to look it. Up. Uh, okay, so you said you've always loved acting. That's where you, yes. when you were an aspiring <clears throat> actor starting at age 13. <laughs> but this new series that you have, Ginormo, talk to us uh, about this idea and how you're bringing it to life now. Yeah, this is a crazy idea, and it came uh, with my co-creator, Ken Mock, who is a legend, an Asian legend in Hollywood, being one of the first executives from like 30 years ago. Mm. Um, yeah, I've always loved acting, and now with kind of like the following and the platform that we've built to be able to reach yeah. hundreds of millions of people, um, I thought, hey, why not take things into my own hands and mm -hmm. like... Love it. Pause the audition for a second and let's build our own show. I love this. If it doesn't exist, make it yourself. <laughs> yes, yeah. That's right. Uh, we managed to um, uh, kind of fund the whole thing ourselves, which is a wow. great thing. Wow. And it's a, I got a lot of my friends. It's an AAPI strong show, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, one of the things we're really proud of. And yeah. especially to actually be ours, you know, to not That's have right. to like satisfy a, a yeah. studio head. That's right. That's um, right. Because it was Joy Luck Club, which yeah. was one of the, the, mm -hmm. the highest grossing films ever. And then yeah. 20 years later, uh, uh, crazy crazy, crazy Asians, Asians. Yep. and you would think, oh, Hollywood, I like money, let's capitalize exactly. on it, and they didn't. So Stephen Hu was like, let's find Hold Godzilla. On. He's like, I got this one. Let's yes. find Godzilla. Let's <laughs> right? You brought, about, you brought Godzilla we, into 2023. Well, we did, and we did it. It's a satire that parodies 1970s kaiju uh. shows. So we're purposely like satirizing how bad it. filmmaking was back then. Yeah. You know, the terrible writing, right. the terrible rubber suits. Occasionally, you see like a Converse shoe peek oh out God, of somebody's yeah. Godzilla suit. It's so bad, it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so, so bad, bad it's good. He's wearing a Depends. What's happening here? Oh. This, is, uh, this, is... <laughs> this is one of our monsters. So yeah. This is one of our monsters. <laughs> <laughs> so talk to us about the sets because you know that was I think once I learned what the sets were like mm -hmm. back in the 70s and 80s which by the way Channel 11 used to air those Godzilla movies. Yes, I remember being a we child. We have been around the block here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Talk to us about the, the, the set building and where it exists. The set was, was built by a legendary model maker, Fawn Davis, who's built things you would definitely like, R2-D2, Millennium oh, wow. Falcon. Oh, my God. Um, and he is a fellow um, AAPI uh, artist in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. uh, we built a lot of things for real, which is really rare nowadays because, you know, everything goes to CGI sure, immediately. Sure, right. So we actually build the, the mini cars that are remote controlled to make them actually drive. No way. Um, the miniature cities that we kind of like cheat to get these giant monster suits. Right. Um, but at the same time, we don't take ourselves seriously. So there's uh. a lot of goofiness, a lot of mics popping into frames. <laughs> This is terrible. <laughs> a, a, a writing, a character dies in the next episode. He's back with no explanation. Like, what's his name from South Park? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. uh, yes. Kenny. 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 Yeah. Dies every episode, the next episode. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is. And you oh have one of those. We do have one of those, yes. Oh, my friends who are, who are uh, the stars on the show, they are... I admire the hell out of them. They are some of the biggest on the planet. Like, um, one of our, uh, our lead villain, his name is uh, Lord Metagon. And he's, he's played by Alan Chow, who took United States number one in weekly views. Wow. Which is an absolutely extraordinary achievement. Excuse, um, what's happening here? What is going on here? Oh, that's a, wow, that's a terrible <laughs> <laughs> photo shoot of our costume. <laughs> Are you, we, we are in Power, Power Rangers. Rangers? We're uh, Walmart Power Rangers. Walmart Power Rangers. <laughs> we're the off-brand Power Rangers. <laughs> we're Power Rangers There's failed a Power audition. Ranger. That's what. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I love this so so much. We're the Godzilla that ran out of budget. Is what we are. Listen, we, we feel you. We, Steven, we thank it. you so thank much you. for joining us. And it's an absolute honor. Keep doing the work. Please. I love we'll that you are doing the work for and by Asians, and it's just it's a wonderful thing. Thank to you see. so and much. And we need we need this entertainment to keep. <laughs> Coming. Please, and you know, you. can you leave a voice? Can you be my voicemail message? <laughs> yeah. I would love to him in all in of all his all accents. Yeah. And don't forget, you can watch Shine Normal now. It's streaming on YouTube. Uh, and be sure, if you're not already doing it, to follow Stephen on social media.